I want to introduce you to one of my favorite low carb meals, pizza. So I use a cauliflower crust and use as the toppings chicken alfredo and some roasted red peppers. So here's how you do it. It's pretty simple, pretty quick. Uh, and I usually make two of them, one maybe for dinner and followed by the next day, uh, the lunch. Um, the lunch preparation is just a little different. I'll discuss that at the end. So let's go ahead and start. First, cut up two chicken breasts into small pieces, maybe about the size of a dice, maybe a little bit smaller. And then the ingredients that you're going to need, aside from the chicken, uh, I don't have this in the picture, but salt and pepper, Parmesan, heavy cream, roasted red peppers, uh, mozzarella cheese, uh, cayenne pepper, pasta sprinkles, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, olive oil. So start by taking the, the chicken, putting it into a pan, adding some olive oil, some salt, pepper, uh, pasta sprinkle, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, and whatever seasoning level you like, some people like more, some people like le less, go ahead and do what you will uh, to, your, to your liking. Put that on a medium flame, let it cook. While it's cooking, go ahead and chop up maybe half a jar of the uh, roasted red peppers. Again, about the same size as the chicken. It could be smaller, could be larger, uh, whatever you prefer. Um, and once the chicken is about halfway done, throw that in there into the pan as well. Um, get that uh, cooked in there. Toss the chicken, keep turning it to, to make sure it cooks evenly. Should take about five or 10 minutes. Um, at that point, dump the chicken into two bowls. The reason I say two bowls is because with the one bowl, I use that for the dinner portion, the other bowl for the lunch portion. So just separate it now, uh, make life easier. Leave the juice in the pan because we're going to use that as part of the Alfredo sauce. So to make the Alfredo sauce, start with the juice left over from the chicken and the peppers and add some heavy cream. Uh, I don't know, maybe a cup, uh, something like that. It'll have it cover the bottom of the pan. Um, after you've got the cream in there, add some cayenne pepper, add some garlic powder, and then put it on a medium flame. At this point, what you really need to do is get that reduced. So mix that around, um, let it cook for a little bit, and once it starts bubbling, start really mixing it in. And then when you're close to being done, once it starts to thicken, then add some Parmesan cheese, some grated Parmesan cheese. That will help thicken it up. When you're done with that, add uh, some pepper there as well if you'd like. But take the pan when it's finished cooking. And I like to put it on our kitchen table, which is marble. It helps it cool it down, disseminate the heat. And, and just let that sit, let that thicken. The next step is to make the pizza itself. Take a cookie sheet, put one of the um, crusts on there, and use a spoon and put some of the Alfredo sauce on there. You'll want to make sure you have enough for the second pizza as well. Uh, spread that around so that you get close to the edges, but not too close because once you put it in the oven and you add everything else, it'll start to spill over potentially. So don't go right to the edge. Once that's done, oh, also make sure you put the rest of the Alfredo sauce into a, a tub, some sort of storage bin so that you can have it the next day. Now, take one of your bowls of chicken and uh, peppers and dump that right onto the, onto the pizza crust. And then with your hand, just spread it around evenly. Once that's spread all around, dump a whole bunch of mozzarella cheese on top. Now it's ready to cook. You might want to clean up the cookie sheet so that the extra shards of cheese don't stay there, otherwise they'll just get cooked into the cookie sheet. Put it into the oven. I like to do 400 degrees, but I put it on broil instead of convection. Uh, that will really toast the top of the cheese nicely. I also recommend putting the shelf as high as you can to the broiler. That will help um, get that really nicely cooked and browned. Keep cooking, it'll take five, eight minutes or so. Um, keep cooking until the, the pizza 
the cheese on top of the pizza is fully melted and it starts browning. That means it's done. Once it's done, take it out, let it sit for a little bit, maybe two or three minutes. Take a spatula. Now it's going to be, the problem is it's going to be kind of soft and it'll easily rip apart. So take a spatula and make sure it's loose on the cookie sheet and then drop it onto the, with the help of the spatula, drop it onto your uh, plate for serving. Um, and just slide it off the, the, the side gently. The other thing that really makes it pop for me is adding a bunch of sriracha, depending on your, your, how spicy you like things. I like things spicy, so I put a bunch of sriracha on there. Now, you're ready to serve, and it's delicious. So let's go over a couple of other things. First, let's talk about the, the crusts themselves. I get them from Trader Joe's. Uh, they're probably eight, nine inches across. Uh, the number of carbs, this is the, the thing with the highest carbs in the whole uh, list of ingredients, four grams per pizza crust. So that's really reasonable. And everything else, including the, the cheeses, are very low. The cream, zero carbs. Um, the spices shouldn't have any carbs in them. So this is really something that's fairly low in carbs. So easy to make and easy to have on a low-carb diet. The final topic is how to make the second pizza the next day. The way I do that is I refrigerate all the leftovers, including the, the Alfredo sauce that's been made. The problem with that is it kind of solidifies. So when, it's, when I take it out for the second pizza, it's kind of a chunk. So what I do is I put it into the microwave. I mean the Alfredo sauce. I put it into the microwave and I put it maybe one minute for defrost um, or 50% power or something like that. And what ends up happening is that the oils in the Alfredo kind of split out. So what I do there is I, I let it heat up a little, not too much, and then I don't mix it initially. What I do is I use my spoon and I, I sort of siphon out or I skim off the top the, the oil and throw that down the drain. Um, and then once I get most of the oil off, then I, then I mix it back up and I, I, I heat it a little bit more. And then I use the spoon to, to, to ladle that onto the pizza crust. And then everything else is the same. Uh, the only other piece of advice is the chicken that's in the fridge that you is for the leftovers. I tend to maybe heat that up just a little bit. Does It, it works a little better when it's uh, heated uh, when you're making the second pizza. Then add the mozzarella, cook it for, again, five to eight minutes, broil, 400 degrees, um, and you'll, you'll get the same thing. Uh, it's, it's really delicious. So enjoy.